what is going on again, beer tubers? Another berry provided beer, and actually, this is a Decora beer. Yes. Uh, a former <clears throat> Toppling Goliath uh, brewer uh, defected, I guess, and started their own brewery, uh, aka Pulpit Rock Brewing Company. Uh, you know, there's Pulpit Rock Campground, so it's mm-hmm. like it's a local landmark. Yeah. Um, you were there. You had this on draft. You can tell me all about this oh, beer. I, just... I know nothing about it. I know it was literally filled four days ago. Yeah. Yeah, it was super fresh when we had it. I think it was two days old it's when we had it. It's uh, what is the beer? Uh, double IPA. Okay, it's called Lupulin, or Lupulin. Uh, it is actually a collaboration with Alluvial Brewing Company. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, from Ames, they, Iowa. They didn't advertise that. Yeah. They no. had an Alluvial on tap when I was there. So, uh, Alluvial's good. I like I did, them. I didn't I get like it, uh, but they did have it. Holy hell. Okay, I've struggled. Go for it. I've struggled with uh, growlers, crawlers, whatever you want to call them. They are, these caps. Ah. There's a, a, a local viewer sent me some stuff, mm-hmm. and it, it literally, I, I can't open these growlers. <laughs> it I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Barry is giving it his all fucking mighty hell. Uh. I can't I, get it either. I, it's insane. It's got like these. Okay, pause. Just took a little extra effort. I mean, my hands hurt. I loosened it up for you, though. Yeah, you did. I loosened it. That's what it. she said. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's what he said. Uh, I'm excited for this. You took pictures of this in Decora. Yeah. Uh, you said it was absolute fire. The color. Uh, insane. Well, uh, uh, pro tip. Um, actually, Pulpit Rock Softig is awesome, yes. and uh, Alluvial brew some crazy great hoppy beer too. So you should Ice Man that, like Instagram Ice Man, where just oh, pours it to the pour in. Yeah. Um. So hopped with Eureka hops and Citra and Citra, and I guess you said <clears> you had a really good conversation with Justin, the uh, head brewer there. Uh, I'm not or... sure if he's head brewer. He's one of two. I think the other one was sure. Bob, and I th- I'm not sure if Bob is co-owner or owner. I'm not sure. <sighs> Dude, that is fucking haze for days. Right? Look at that. That is New England-esque. See? Iowa gets it. Yeah. Minnesota, where you at? Okay, we just reviewed Foragers Brewing uh, Urban Hops. That was good. Yeah. But other than that, where you at? <laughs> for real. Uh, I gotta smell it. My mouth is like full of saliva here. It's alright. Whoa. That's nice. Right? That's nice. That's piney. So this That's is uh, fruity. it's dank. This is the soft dig grain bill, slightly modified. Sure. Slightly modified hey, according to Justin. Look at Trillium. So. Every one of their beers that I've had. Oh, we're opening heavy metal tonight, by the way. Oh yeah, sweet. <laughs> uh, just saying, like most of these beers and these breweries just slightly tweak these grain bills. I know home brewing, me and home Casey, brewing. and you too, yeah, and you too, yeah. brewing with you and Joel. Like we just barely change it. That's so. That's the haze for days. That's um, crazy. That seems darker Marvel. than I thought. It's the same malt bill. I know it's weird though. Does, doesn't it seem a little darker? Yeah. yeah. Um. I did a lot of uh, clarification on it mm, that why. we didn't do. Sure. So, that's why. Sorry. Or haze for bays. Nothing to do with this beer. Yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, this is great. Already, the nose is nice. <laughs> I mean, you're not even smelling it, but I smell like pine. I can smell, I smell it from here. Dankness. I smell weed straight up like marijuana. Yeah. It's awesome. I mean, this is like this is aroma. Like this room smells like hops right now, and it's fucking fire. So a forager was a ninety. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is what Forager, I wish they would just get right. Right. You know, I mean, yeah. that's this is nice. the nose wasn't quite there I on Forager. I can't imagine going down for Galaxy Sioux and then heading down the road straight to Pulpit Rock mm-hmm. and being like, hey, blow my fucking balls off and they shotgun. Did. Yep. With soft dig okay, and this. Let's, let's taste it. You, you you don't even need to get into the nose, do you? You're no, just I like can smell straight it. Straight in, yeah. <laughs> Let awesome. me smell it from here. Mm. <laughs> 8.14% off all by volume. So the one thing I love that these brewers are capturing, uh, especially Alluvial, the couple of beers I've had from Matt, their head brewer, yeah, uh, and Soft Dig and uh, Easy Rider or Easy Lover, I think it's called. John <clears throat> loves that. Beer. Yeah, Easy Lover. Um, Easy Rider was the toppling. They capture mic this like up. cooking essence of hops, like they don't fuck around. Um, sorry, my chihuahua was going absolute batches. Diego, shut the fuck up. <laughs> He's a dog, um, man. He's doing. True. Dog's He's gonna dog. Barking at birds. Dog's gonna it. dog. Right? He hates the birds. <laughs> um, they're mm. like half his size. That's stupid. That's stupid. Good. Uh, the dankness reminds me of Trillium. I actually like Trillium uses a lot of Columbus. Yeah. And there's a lot of dank qualities to Columbus. 
I'm getting a lot of that. I'm getting a little bit of sweet malts. I'm getting like this pale, pale, pale dry malt. Yeah. But it's not a fruit bomb either. No. It's more of a dank resin bomb. So I guess they're using hops in a way that I guess I thought would produce juicier results. <clears throat> um, but they're actually getting more of the dank, earthy resin qualities. Yep. From that. Yeah. They're extracting the inside of the hop, essentially. Fucker. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> see, this is what I'm talking about. Producing better quality content. Uh, <laughs> that's coming. But, um... I really do like it. I actually like it more in Forger. <clears throat> um, I feel like the malt bill is a little bit more well thought out. Oh, yeah. I, I, this I is get, a step up from this Forger. This is creaminess. This is... I mean, this is treehouse malt feel to me. Yeah. I really... I, 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 mean, even, I even would pit this against some of the Toppling beers. Oh, totally. I think they uh, they know what they're doing. It, it's essentially a branch of Toppling. Sure. I mean, I'm not sure if Toppling wants us to say that or not, but no. it was a former no. employee. Right. So... This is true. <clears throat> uh, there is some alcohol. Mm-hmm. that I'm detecting and uh, 8.14 okay. it walks a line of deepa non deepa whatever sure. whatever you yeah, guys want to define that yeah. as I mean <clears throat> uh, this is a hard one to actually review it reminds me a lot of um Trill and Bear I just had vicinity uh-huh. in a way yeah vicinity's got this uh <clears throat> really really earthy floral I didn't actually shoot a video for it. I shared it with a friend, so thank you to Matt for that. Uh, this reminds me a lot of vicinity. And Eureka hops aren't one that we've used. No. Uh, I, I I guess the really cool thing you were telling us about is that these guys, uh, they have, also have those oxygen and seal caps. That's yes. why it's so hard. Coonan does that too. That's amazing. Yes. Uh, but you were telling me that they, they strictly brew on availability of hops. Totally. That's why there's Eureka in this beer. Right, versus Nelson. It, I believe uh, Justin said they wanted Nelson... Um, he also said Eureka has is like a Nelson, um, and I forget the other hop. Man, damn it, I can't remember what he said. He said Eureka was like Nelson, another hop had a kid. Sure. Um, Eureka was available, Nelson wasn't. They're really small. They have to do with what's available. Sure. That's why Softig isn't always available. Right. Because they because can't always they can't get the always hops. Get, exactly. So when it's on, they're they're advertising that. I that's their go-to. I, I get like those lupulin soaked oils. Yeah. Earthy hop matter. Really, really great. Uh, fuck, man. I'm really jealous. This is... Um, fuck Iowa, man. It, this they hits on all beers. points. They, I know, they do. They, they've got mouthfeel down. They've got <laughs> color down. They've got head retention down, at least in my glass. Yeah. Uh, they've got I can flavors, them. aromas. It, it's just fire. The whole thing is fire. It's so good. Um, again, in Minnesota up here, in Minneapolis, we are left with like nothing to drink for IPAs and pills. Right. I'm getting on a soapbox here, but... I'm on I've been, it with I've, you. I've been talking with Wynn Davis and <clears throat> comments on every single video, so thanks, Wynn, for watching everything. But you and I share the same opinions. Cheers, How Wynn. much we're just pissed off mm-hmm. as, as as IPA drinkers. We're we're hopheads. Cater to the hopheads. What's yeah. the number one selling ten beers at a liquor store other than macro? IPAs generally. Yeah, totally. People like that hoppy bitterness. And I guess people in Minnesota just don't know any. They better. like caramel for some reason. Yeah. The crystal meth malts. Oh, God. It's like Breaking Bad malts. It is. But <clears throat> never attribute Minnesota IPAs to Breaking Bad because that is a <laughs> strong disc to Breaking Bad. <laughs> so Jason and I, the guy that went down to Decor with me, or I went with him. This is getting better as it warms. Um, we were telling Justin, the brewer, that this color alone would sell out in any Minnesota or Minneapolis store. Mm-hmm. Um, just on color alone. Mm-hmm. We just don't have this here. Um, I know that, like that doesn't make everything. different. No, but no, certainly not. You eat not. with your eyes, you drink with your eyes to a certain extent. But aroma's there. Yeah. I mean, I'm re-pouring myself a little bit like a fucking alcoholic here. Go for it. Here, but, Go um, for it. This, is, this is great. I don't know what I give this as a score. I think like a 94. Yeah. I think it's just like yeah, I'm, really, I'm hitting, really creeping into world class. Low to mid-90s. Yeah. Maybe mid, you know, after yeah. what we gave Forager. Maybe 93. Yeah. I think 93 is a safe score for yeah. uh, Pulpit Rock. Loopy Lynn. Great logo. Great beer. Everything I've had from them has been pretty good. And you're in Decora. Assuming you're going to TG, yeah. go to Pulpit Rock. Yep. It's um, a mile. 
it's not it's either. a cozy no. little. It, no, it's like you can walk yeah. there. Yeah, you can. Um, cozy tap room, huge yep. patio. Yep. Um, nice people, super nice. Everyone yep. was. We were there for my so bachelor party. Too. Like, yeah, you, very you were there. lately, uh, <clears throat> short after they opened. They had like you said, nit- last nitro fall, coffee. Summer fall area. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, September we were there. Uh, they still have nitro coffee, by the yeah, way. Still awesome. And that is just bomb too. No. All right, uh, we better get out of here. We're going to settle on 93 out of 100. Mm-hmm. Pumpet Rock. Loopy Line, keep doing you. Alluvial, Matt, keep doing you. You guys, get your beer up here, maybe? Because <laughs> yeah. they do great stuff. The great Absolutely. stuff. Helix, double IPA, fire. So maybe I'll get that for review. Uh, Nick, if you're watching, <laughs> reach out to me. I need your hookups. <laughs> you just got married. Congratulations. Congrats. Cheers. Cheers to that. All right, we'll see you again in another one. Peace.